As we begin to appreciate him, open your mouth and begin to reverence his holy name. Malika Saparato Shekele Barara Lique Pereto Sepere Do Shekele Baradoza Liga Father, we give you praise, we worship you. We adore you, we honor you. Malika Tasa Parado Shalabala. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the God that never fails. You are the God that changes not. We give you all the praise, we give you all the adoration, Lord. Malika Tasa Parada. We give you praise, we adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going straight to pray out the book of Matthew chapter 5, 14 to 16. Matthew chapter 5, 14 to 16. I read, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This evening you will open your mouth after me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. For our convention. For our convention. A flame 2022. A flame 2022. Thank you. Thank you. For the transformation. For the transformation. That will take place. That will take place. And the impartation. And the impartation. Of your spirit. Of your spirit. In our lives. In our lives. And ministry. And ministry. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father, for being so kind, for being so kind and gracious, and gracious in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Open your mouth as you begin to appreciate God. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 
You will open your mouth after me. Oh Lord, oh, no. in this convention, in this convention, I flame 2022. I flame 2022. I receive fresh grace. I receive fresh grace for fresh light. For fresh light. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. More and more. More and more. Throughout this convention. Throughout this convention. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Open your mouth as we begin to pray the prayer. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We're going to lift up our voice once more tonight. You're going to say after me. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father, I have come tonight. I have come tonight to drink of your spirit. To, to drink of your spirit. spirit. Fill me up, Lord. Fill, Fill me, me up, Lord, Lord. Until I become a full manifestation of your light. Until I become a full manifestation of your light. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Turn it to prayer. You're going to say after me once more. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Lord. Tonight, 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 I apply for a fresh grace. I, I apply, apply for, for a fresh, fresh grace for the next and higher call. For, for the, the next, next and higher call. call. For my life assignment. For my life assignment. And ministry in the name of Jesus. And ministry in the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Please repeat after me. Say, Father, Father we receive grace. We receive grace. Throughout this convention. Throughout this convention. For the impartation, for the impartation of your word. Of your word. Let your word. Let your word. Comfort. Comfort. With power. With power. And grace. 
and grace to deliver to us to deliver to us your divine intention your divine intention and purpose and purpose for our lives for our lives in jesus name in jesus please go ahead and pray kaya la rosha he cover the cross at kaya kaya lord we say grace so god to our this convention for in protection of your word let your word come forth in so much grace with so much power to deliver to us your divine intention he kaya la 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 kosha aye bo su kaya ta a ka bo do go sia lord your word that is living your word that is life i ask oh god let this light up our lives in the name of jesus he kaya la kosha a sa ta ye kaya he ka bo de go sia ta he ya na 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 go sia thank you father for in jesus name we have prayed amen I want us to pray this with the whole of our hearts. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, we pray for the sixth man of God. We pray for, for the sixth man of God. You have ordained. You have ordained for us. For us. Throughout this convention, we ask for all trances, anoint his lips, anoint his lips, and grant him the enablement to declare your word with ease. With ease. In the name of Jesus. Please go ahead. And pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, we lift up the sixth man of God unto a place. Lord, how dare the Lord for this convention? In the name of Jesus. Amen. We've taken this last one. We're going to be praying for God to unveil to us what He has for us in this convention. Lift up your head. The Bible says, Book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 20, say, Surely there's an end, and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. Say after me, say, Father, Father. say, Father, Father. through this convention, through this convention, a flame. 2022. Our flame 2022. Usher me, usher me into an unusual walk. Into an unusual walk with you. With you. Unveil to me. Unveil to me that which I need to see. That which I need to see. And know. And know until I become. Until I become. All you have ordained me. All you have ordained me to become. To become. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and turn it to God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. The Lord has heard and answered us. To him alone be all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you believe your prayer is answered, you will shout your amen louder and better. Amen. A flame 2022. Are you excited to be in God's presence? Give the Lord a shout of praise. 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 show you tonight that you are in for a good time. The Bible speaking in the book of Acts chapter 2 when you read from verse 1 scripture speaking says and the day of Pentecost it came to pass 
when the day of Pentecost was fully come the Pentecost was a feast of the Jew and now we are yet this is our feast a flame is a yearly feast and the Bible told us as they gather together as the brethren gather together in one place there was a wind and the queen I am on the there's going to be a wind that will blow off every unwanted thing in your life by the reason of this convention and as it progressed it came to a point that the Holy Ghost came upon them like fire the Bible says it did not just come and left the scripture speaking that the Spirit of God came like fire and it sat upon every one of them it sat upon every one of them after that they were engraced to do what they were not able to do ordinarily i decree upon your life that before the end of this meeting ah, before the end of this meeting i am on a cross shutter the fire of the Holy Ghost will sit upon you to give you new grace for new level, new grace for new level, new grace for new level. If you believe that, you will jump up on your feet and shout, to Amen. Just open up your heart, ready to receive from the throne room of grace. I have so much weakness in my spirit. It is about to rain. <laughs> TICC, it is about to rain. And this rain is a heavy downpour. It is an heavy downpour. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for a new season, a new dawn, a new rhyme. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Very quickly, we will be going into song ministration. Mm be receiving our brother brother Macaulay it will be doing a song titled when I was done hallelujah with Jesus joy I want to clap offering to the Lord please let's receive brother Macaulay as he minister keep celebrating Jesus
convinced with your reasonable doubt by the end of this convention you will be your whole body will be full of light people will be attracted to you favor will be attracted to you in the name of Jesus going on further in this glorious service we'll be receiving the following people for their testimonies as they come to share the scripture says and they overcame me with the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and scripture also said the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. For time's sake, we'll be taking two today and uh, we'll, so that we can proceed. With Jesus' joy, please help me receive Sister Alleluia and Sister Juliet. Juliet, oh wow. Hallelujah. Keep celebrating them as they come to the front to hear about their testimony glory to god keep celebrating keep celebrating hallelujah jesus has been so good to us awesome doing great and mighty things in our midst hallelujah amen please forward face the congregation confirm your name and what god has done for you praise the lord my name is sister esosa esetre i just want to thank god for all he has been doing in my life like i remember the first convention the first year we turned into, we started calling our anniversary convention. So when I came, I told God that by the next year, I wanted to be married, that I want to come to the next convention with my husband. And God did it July of last year, I got married. And last year, I came for the convention, I asked God again, I said, God, this next convention, that is 2020, so I want to come with my child. And God did it in June, God gave me my child. I, I said, I'll come again this year and say, God, next year, I, have something. I will come and testify again and say, God, this is what <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. Amen. This, it's not just to come to a convention, place a demand on this convention. Most time, one of us come to church without an expectation. It's come with an expectation. As many of us that have an expectation, I assure you, your expectation shall not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your testimony is confirmed in Jesus' name. Amen. Please face the congregation, confirm your name and what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
I'm Juliet Obao. Speak louder. Praise Jesus. <laughs> I've come to return all glory to God for what he has been doing in my family. First of all, I just want to thank God for the life of my elder sister that came in last month. It all happened November last year. So I will just summarize everything because it's a long testimony, but I will just make it short. So she called me. She was telling me, she said, ah, look at what happened. I said, what happened? She said, they are accusing us that, she said, they accused us of, um, they said they found, because her husband post, posted some items from Spain to Scotland. So along the line, the load was like delay. For over a month, they could not see the load. So unexpectedly to, to her, not knowing that the load is already in the custody of the police in Scotland. So, and the husband was about traveling to Nigeria. At the airport, the police went to pick the husband. They arrested him. So they now took the load to my sister. God so kind, they were just waiting for my sister's fingerprint on those uh, goods that they delivered. And when they brought, the police brought it, it was surprised to her that what I posted, how come the police now brought it to me? I said, well, she said, well, no problem. She just abandoned the bag and continued what she was, not even up to 10 minutes that they delivered the things. They just burst in a house and rack searched everywhere, took their documents, took everything. She was like surprised. They told her, if not because of a your little child, we would have arrested you as well. The following day, they came to arrest my sister as well. So my sister was like, she called us. I even called mama. I told my mama, look at what is, what is happening. She prayed with us. And after one week, they released my sister and they released her husband. So we are waiting for the, the goods. The passport they said they saw, they, my sister and her husband, they didn't even see the passport with their eyes. They were just saying we saw passport. It was the lawyer that now told my sister that, ah, they told us that it was France that posted the 18, uh, 20 passports to the UN, Scotland embassy, but it was only two that delivered, and the rest, the 18 that we were looking for, that they find it inside my sister's bag. It was surprising. And we have been praying and believing God, and we told God, God, intervene, because they are innocent. Last, and I was praying, and I believe that as God's servant has declared that this is the hand of God. I was telling God, I said, God, let that mighty hand, let it speak on their behalf. When she came to, um, to visit us, and she went back last year, she, uh, sorry, last month, she called me. She said that, my sister said, Ma, tell me what happened. She said that they said we are free and we are not guilty of the case they accused us of. We are, I'm here to return all glory to God and all honor to him. Praise God. Secondly, I want to thank God for the life of my brother. Last month, they were sleeping, middle of the night, they were sleeping. They owned the gen. They were, the, the gen was outside, why they were sleeping inside. All of a sudden, the, the, the gen caught fire. It was two gen close to each other. So the gen caught fire, and they were inside, they were sleeping. He said he didn't know what woke him up. Yes, Holy Spirit woke him up that he should go outside. He said when he went outside, smoke, has, smoke is already everywhere. He shouted immediately. He didn't even know how he took the generator and flinged the generator away. But I want to thank God because nothing happened to them. God preserved them. He preserved everybody. And there shall be no loss as our daddy has declared. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Please stand up on your feet. Did, did you even understand this testimony? An allegation, a big one at that, was leveled on the sister. And this case can, can put them in jail for life. But by the mighty ends of God, they were vindicated. I don't know who has judged you wrongly. I don't know where your name has been taken to. And they are about to pass judgment. By the mighty ends of God, I decree tonight your freedom. In the name of Jesus, there is no charge against you. In the name of Jesus. On Sunday, was it not on Sunday? God's servants was giving an illustration. And he began to clean. He said, there is a guy, a man that every case, every verdict is cleaned in the name of Jesus. I and, and I reaffirm it. Wherever, if it is natural or spiritual, every verdict against you, it is cancelled in the name of Jesus. And I decree again, there shall be no loss. You are preserved. Your loved ones, they are preserved in the name of 
of Jesus. We are going to celebrate God. We are going to worship God for this mighty work he has done for us. In level years of great testimony, of wonders, we will receive the praise team as they lead us in song for us to give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do?
conversion and it has been producing for her I want to give you a minute to ask God tonight that thing you want him to do for you by the reason of this year's conversion you are asking Lord by this same time next year when I come I want to see this in my hand I want to come with this I want to come with that one minute go ahead and tell it to the Lord Go ahead, go ahead and pray. Mashataya da barato seke ya nene. Yende bo shataya na maku seke ba ya taya. Thank you, Lord. Mashere barata In Jesus' name, we are afraid. Amen. The Lord answered you speedily in Jesus' name. Amen. To take us further, we'll be receiving some song ministers. We'll be receiving Brother Daniel. You'll be doing a song titled, Out of My Belly. After Brother Daniel, the advocate of praise will be doing the choir song titled, Open Up. Hallelujah. As the minister, I trust God to reach out to you. Open up your heart. Ready to receive. Ready to be filled. Hallelujah. With Jesus joy. I want to clap off into the Lord. Please let's receive Brother Daniel as he ministers. Hallelujah. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. of living water yeah, yeah, yeah. La 
la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la Let it flow, let it flow. It shall fall on the ground. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. I shall fall on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Oh, let it flow, let it flow. Ha 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 na 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 na. Let it flow, let it flow. Ha 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 na 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 na. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow. It's a life giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Hey, come on, na 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 na. As the river flow, it begins to bring every destiny to life. It's a life giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, we begin to bring every destiny to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Somebody, can you speak in tongues right now? Open your mouth and speak in tongues. Open your mouth and speak in tongues. And let a trail of my spirit open up right now.
meditate upon the words of your servant tonight. Release on your servant the grace that make the teaching and the preaching of your word easy. And release upon every one of us the grace to access light. Let yokes be broken. Let life be transformed. Let the light shine. And let darkness disappear. Let no darkness associate with anyone after this meeting. Amen. Every trace and symptom of darkness, let them be eliminated by your light. Amen. Amen. For the entrance of your word giveth light, and it giveth understanding to the simple. Great one, I vow to give you the praise, I vow to give you all the glory, I vow to give you all the honor. As you do what only you can do. In Jesus' gracious name I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome every one of you tonight. I'd like you to celebrate yourself, especially those of you that have been joining with us for 11 years. Celebrate yourself. And those of you that have been joining with us for over 11 days, celebrate yourself. And those of you that are beginning the journey with us today, celebrate yourself. Why not walk to one another and say congratulations, 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 congratulations. Welcome to Convention 2022, Aflame 2022. Thank you, Father. Sabala brada balada banana kataya. In Jesus' name. You know, today we are doing opening. So, time is a bit restricted. But I would like us to take, some, we will pray some prayers while the message is going on. So I'd like you to stay at that. I want to appreciate all the ministers for working with us all these years. All these years. You've been steadfast. You've been there. You've made the work, the work of ministry easy for us. God will bless you and continue to lift you in the name of Jesus. I appreciate, I can't mention all your name. I appreciate all the members here for making the work easy for us. <laughs> Hallelujah. For being good children to us, God bless you. Hallelujah. For the workers, God bless you. And I want to appreciate the most important personality in this house. My best friend, my Lord, my director, my master, the person of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> who has been there all the way to glorify Jesus and honor our Father. Amen. God bless you all. Can you stand up on your feet briefly? Please, I want to encourage every one of us during this period, be sensitive to words. Be sensitive to words. Because words will be coming in your direction and the words will be sharp. When it comes and you catch it, the shame break. When it comes, you catch it, the level change. When it comes, you catch it, status change. When you come, it comes, you catch it, healing takes place. When it comes, you catch it, miracles happen, breakthrough happen. So stay alert. God will be speaking your word to you tonight. Hallelujah. As in, the, in between the messages, we'll be taking some prayer points as we led, as we are led. We are doing it like an online pattern tonight or intervention night pattern tonight. So, and a bit of introduction to what we'll be 
be doing and be hearing this seasons. Amen. Especially tomorrow, next tomorrow, and these seasons. Hallelujah. Today I will be looking at the word lighted today under a different subject. But I like us to read my favorite scriptures. How many of you know my favorite scripture? John chapter 1, verse 5. And first John chapter 1 verse the same five. Whether it's because my name is John, I don't know. But I don't think so. Because that was a revelation that hit me 31 years ago. And it has never lived my life the same. And every time I look into it, life come out of that word. No wonder disciples said to Jesus, to whom shall we go? Because every time you open your mouth to speak, life enters us. To whom shall we go? If you are there, read it with me. We will take it from verse 5 to... Let's just take verse 5. Take verse 5 because there are other provoking things there that I will not want to see so that it don't take my attention. Let's just take verse 5. Then go to First John chapter one verse five or so. Are we together? Can we read it together? And the light shines in darkness and darkness. First John chapter one verse five. This is the message I received 31 years ago when I literally gave my life to Christ. This is the message the apostles received that made them to change their world for God. This is the revelation that our Jesus walked with. That what? God. And we declare it to you that God is light. In him, there is no single darkness. Hallelujah. You take your seat. The theme is lighted. The word lighted is derived from the word light that is on. So we'll be entering it tomorrow more, but I want to look at that word, the first few words there, five words there, light today. The subject is the personality of light. I'll be looking at it phase one this today, and tomorrow we'll be addressing it proper. Now, there is what we call what is light and who is light. First of all, I would like us to look at who is light. Because science defines light as a kind of energy and blah, 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 blah. But we are not talking about the scientific light. We are talking about spiritual light. And how it affects the natural. Who is light? Light is a person. I want us to understand this first because we are laying foundation. If you miss the foundation, you can't grab the property inside, the benefit. Until you understand the personality of light, then the what of light, you will not understand or know the potency that light carries. So first of all, light, is a person 
personality. And that personality, we read from scripture that God is light. And if we read that God is light, it means light is God. The light we are talking about is the personality of God. In the book of Psalm 27 verse 1, David understood this. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Therefore, whom shall I fear? Let me tell you something about light a bit so that you understand. Everything that breathes in this earth exists by light. Every living thing exists by light. Without light, there will not be life. The Bible speaking in the book of John chapter 1, it said, in him, I think verse for in him was life and that light of in him was life and that life was the life that lighted on men so with that life without the light there will not be life and so when we say God is light, we must understand that God is life. So David understood this and he said, the Lord is my light. When he used the word my light, he was saying God is my life. Therefore, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? What else is light? Connecting it to God. Light is glory. In John chapter 8 verse 12, Jesus speaking, introducing himself as light. He said, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whosoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but we have the light of life. John 1, 4, which I quoted just now, in him was life and the life was... In John chapter 9, verse 5, he said, why I am in the world, I am the light of the world. So we are looking at the God part as light. I want to understand this, that God is life, is light. It means that the presence of God, wherever the presence of God is, is lighted. In Genesis chapter 1, Bible speaking, it told us that when the earth was without form and void, God could do nothing until he invited light. When his spirit shows up, he said, let there be light. And after light came, creation started taking place. I haven't understood this, that God is light is the light we are talking about, then what is light? We have looked at who is light. What is light? Number two thing that light is, is the word of God. I'm taking you somewhere. Follow me systematically. We will get there. By this we mean the written word of God and the spoken word of God. The written word of God and the spoken word of God. Two 
is the Bible says the scripture was printed by God and it was printed for the purpose of correction for enlightenment for chastisement that the man of God be made perfect so even the written scripture is light let me make example with this We have what we call, what is that thing called? It's called light, even though it's not on. It's called what? Light. A room, a place can be lighted and until it is assessed, or until a light can be there, until it is switched on, the benefit or the potency will not be seen. The word of God in itself is light. But until you assess it, it will not reflect in your life. So the spoken word of God is light. And the spoken word of God is in different dimension. We have the revelatory word of God, which will go on subsequently, or that tomorrow or next. And we also have the word said by God's servant. Every word spoken by God's servant ordained by God, it is light. The reason why God's word is light is because God is light. So when light is speaking, it's light that will come out. So every one of us that are born of God, which will be God deeper today, the you that is lighted. We'll go to Bali tomorrow. I'm laying foundation today. Tomorrow we'll be breaking down mysteries. Hallelujah. Everyone born of God is born of light. And so when they speak, they speak life, they speak light. So God's word is light. Psalm 119 verse 105. It says, your word is what? A lamb for my feet. A light on my path. In Revelation chapter chapter 21 verse 23 he said the city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it. For the glory of God gives what? Its light. And the lamp is its lamp. So when we talk about God's word, we all know that Jesus is God's word. John chapter 1, verse 1. It's spoken word too. In First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. He said, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a nation, only nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his what? Wonderful light. Psalm 119 verse 130 said, the entrance of your word do what? And he giveth understanding to the simple, the unfolding of your word. And John chapter 1 verse 14 say, and the word was made flesh and dwelleth among us and we do what? Behead what? His glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So, God is light. His word is light. The spoken word from God's servant that are ordained by God, they are light. And men who God gave authority to speak with audaciousness and open check, when they offer word, it becomes light. Hear me? It is because of the light that comes out of God's servant's mouth that makes even things that are dead to come alive. Everything light touches come alive. And I speak to somebody hearing the sound of my voice tonight. Whatever is dead around you, hear my voice and they come alive tonight. I say whatever 
is dead or dying around you they hear the voice of God's servant speaking here right now and they bounce back to life now the main thing what are the characteristics of light God is light his word is light and tomorrow we'll be looking at you as light tomorrow we'll be looking at you as light let us deal with Baba first and you know God is his word and his word is God so when we say God is light his word is light we mean both but when we want to refer to the word sometimes in literal meaning because of the written word we say what that's why I separate who and what now light has characteristics as I define these characteristics I want you to know that when I'm talking about you tomorrow these characteristics are in you so I won't go deep into all these things tomorrow I'm trying to clear some things from the way because this year this season that we are entering they will see light walking on the street mobile light walking on the street the world thought they have seen power they have not seen anything they will see light darkness with somebody told me a testimony was it two years ago i believe some of you watch it when we are doing ignite in iri or in saple he said many years ago no many of those things happened so i don't remember most of them but some of them remind me when i go to worry he said one day i entered my person myself i entered a bus you know, as people entered bus transportation, it was a public bus in a fruit junction. I just bought the bus. And a woman inside that darkness was hiding inside her. Started just entering the bus. And she started to manifest. And I looked at her. <laughs> blow more light into her i am trying to tell you what you are about to manifest if this light enter you any wish that mistakenly blast your direction we manifest without notice it is the intention of god that everyone walk as a lighted vessel one that is fully equipped spiritually and when they walk along the street they become like naked wire that's how you will walk this season what are the characteristics of light number one light has no relationship with darkness they don't relate or do things together so these characteristics, if you want to manifest light, you must make sure these characteristics are what has, that is seen in your life. They don't work together. The Bible says darkness and light have no relationship. Can two work together except they be in agreement? So light and darkness, they, are, they don't have relationship with one another. They don't associate together. It is not possible for both of them to be interwoven together. It is not possible for those, both of them to share the same territory. Everything I teach, I experience. Everything I teach, there are testimonies. Living testimony. You remember our Illuminati that was staying behind this place? They were running business here and we thought it was business, it was a company. I haven't recommended people to go there from our church to go and look for a job. And some of the people that were recommended went, they got a job. And according to her, one day they said, because of the way she sells, the best sales uh, girl among them, they were pretending as if they were selling goods. But in the night, they do something else there. And so they said, we want to know your father. He said, my father, okay, I will take you to my father. He brought the man, the head man in Parma. 
in charge of them in Parma, I believe Parma or Emilia Romania, brought them to our house, and my wife, we were at home. Immediately the man entered the house. The next thing he said, she thought she was bringing the man to show the man, when the man see me, he will like me as a pastor, and at least her profile will rise. When the man entered, he said, this man is your father. I said, yes. I don't believe I've seen the man once in my life. And I will not, I don't think I will still recognize the man if I see him again. He said, this is your father. He said, yes. He said, this is the man that drove us from that place. He said, no, my father cannot do that. My father cannot do that. He said, he drove us. That's why we backed out of that place. They left this place for a few months up to a month plus, we did not know. I thought they were still there. We did not clash with them one day. She argued with the man, argued, argued. They were speaking it out, argued. Until one day, they took her to a meeting. And they told her, if you want to do better in life, everybody that entered me, they, they put, fly her. Flew high with, with flights. She and one other guy, Nigeria, so Nigeria, partly Nigeria, nice, partly Ghana guy. Flew them to an island in Italy here. Yeah. What's the name? Sardinia. That was where they, were, they held their meeting. They went there, she thought it was a business meeting. Top guys showed up. When they were entering the place, they told her you can't enter the hall until you put your hands on this thing that looks like a pot and take something there and put it in your mouth. Say, and if I don't do it, you must do it before you enter. And if I don't, it is a must. Anyone that must enter this place must take something from that place first. And by the wisdom of God, God just gave her wisdom. She said, but you know you are just telling me now. Let me just enter, we think about it. Before they talk, the other guy, because they promised that anybody that enters this meeting, they are made for life. So, trust the black guy. With that Holy Ghost whispering, he just, and he goes to church to put his hand, put it in his mouth, enter inside meeting. She said, but why not me just allow me to think about it? The guy said, okay, even if you don't take, if you enter the meeting, you come out, you will never remember anything that happens there. Nothing you see, all, anything you see, you will never re remember. And she entered the meeting only for her to discover that it was Illuminati. All the dance, all the things, no, it was not business, it was not sense they did there. And when they were coming back, they asked her, take the tea. She said, see, give me time to think. The man said, you won't even remember anything. And she left. They did not know that it was a mistake. She remembered everything they did. What drove them here is the power of light. It has no association. A church cannot be in a place and a shrine will be there. It is impossible. 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 And I decree over your life every altar that is contrary to God's altar, erected where you exist, where you live from today, the light that shines in darkness, eliminate and destroy that altar. Impossible. Impossible. Can a Christian be sleeping? We will get to you tomorrow. We will get there tomorrow. So the prayer we are praying for in the church, one devil is holding it, is a lie from the pit of air. Light cannot be in the church and devil answer church prayer. Light cannot be in the church and a contrary water will be in the It is impossible. If it happens, it means something has contaminated the water. It's impossible. I hear some church pray that, pray that anybody, anything that is hindering our prayer, any, de altar, any devil that is sitting on your prayer, church pray. Yeah. It 
doesn't matter how stubborn the goat is, it will not branch a saloon where the lion is a baba. It doesn't matter how stubborn and ignorant a fly is, it does not branch fly, branch fire. Fly don't have sense. Why are they not branches fly fire? They don't associate. I have about 10 things to say. Number two. Light does not accommodate any darkness. It has no place in it for it. said, God is light. In God, there is no darkness. So you cannot be in that God and darkness will stay in your body. It means, the Bible says, we are seated together with Christ in heavenly places. And the Bible says, Christ in God and you in Christ. So you cannot be that double seated in God and a darkness will find itself in. I don't care what that disease is. I don't care what that fibro is. I don't care what doctor says. If it's associated with darkness and you are a child of God, it can't find its way into your body. I cross the root of that disease. By the mandate of the light I carry, every disease in this house met by fire. Every disease, every trace of sickness, blood disease, bone, whatever it is, brain, any pain in the body that is traceable to darkness by the light I represent, the light of God's word and God who is light I represent, I cause it to die now. Light does not accommodate darkness. Does not accommodate darkness. There's somebody in this house. Your family, there's always a problem in your family. People struggle and struggle and struggle. Sometimes it looks as if when there is hope for the person, anybody in your family, I'm talking about anybody in your family, when there is light at the other part of it, getting close to it, something must happen. But Baba God sent me to say to you that you have come to the end. Yet that problem is over. That problem is over. I sign that light into your family right now. That demon responsible for it, it is over forever. Go and happen. Number three, light has zero tolerance for darkness. It does not only, it, it does not, Light does not, accommodate, not only not accommodate darkness, it has zero tolerance for darkness. John 1 5 says, The light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. It means light has no patience for darkness. It means light has no patience for darkness. It has no free pass for darkness. Remember some years ago, I was trying to pray Holy Ghost baptism for the man of God that was staying in his house, his daughter, born in the church, brought up in the church, a good singer, Christian by everyone's definition. I was praying, trying to pray Holy Ghost baptism for her, just a few months old in the faith. I believe now up to a month old in the faith. And I saw light in the God's word. And but that's John uh, Mark chapter 16, verse 17. I think verse 15. That when he said, Go into the world, preach the gospel, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I saw it baptizing them. So this Holy Ghost that entered me without anybody laying on. So I can pray on people and they will receive it. I told my friend, let's look for people now. We are looking for people possessed. We did not see the ones possessed, so we went to our houses. Okay, you are a Christian. Have you received the Holy Ghost? We are asking every Christian. No, the one that said, and it was not common around us. Do you believe we can speak in tongues? She laughed. I said, do you believe? So when she heard me pray, she loved it. It's okay, come. We were in, sitting in the, on the dining table, and I held the hand. The father in the parlor, a separate table, I received the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Ghost is light, oh, when he come, if he meet darkness, darkness must take off. Not knowing that she was possessed. As I held the hand, I saw 
she, dining table, something else. And the father appeared from that distance. Thank God he understood spiritual things. And he said, not my house, you will scatter. Come her down, take her to church. This one needs deliverance. Some pastors will cover their children. I come and I took her to church. As I was going, I organized some of my friends. We follow. We got to church. Ah! That light does not tolerate darkness. That day, that day, that demon left. And that day, she was filled with the Holy Ghost. There are people who tolerate some things around them. Say, it happens to my mother. It happens to my father. Now, so it be for our family. God forbid and light forbid darkness. So you forbid parting. It happens in my family. That's what happens when you come to this land, Italy. Everybody do like this, but do not be firewood. The light does not tolerate darkness. Every trace of darkness in this land that has trapped you down, we break it by fire. Many people's spiritual lives have been trapped. Because they tolerate darkness. Every young girl think of boyfriend and girlfriend. Every every young man that God wants to use, the next thing is that a lady is coming your way. And you feel that it's a normal thing. Everything that addressable to darkness, when you connect yourself to it, it can deface your glory. It does not tolerate darkness. I enter this land. I've told you how a sister traced me to the house and wanted me to sleep with her. Did everything necessary. The truth was that my body reacted though. Hello? I'm not a dead man now. Huh? Is this a surprise? My body reacted. But the light within me shook. Say no. I won't trade you for silver and gold. I won't trade you for the pleasures of this world. You are, you are my everything. I told her I have come too far in light. I can't go back to darkness. After explanation, I mean born again, tongue speaking, not the one sent from air. Those ones are easy to cast out. Sisters that speak in tongues, they are difficult to cast out. Brothers that speak in tongues, they are difficult to cast out. That's why many atrocities that happens in the church, you think is normal. They speak in tongues on Sunday, on Wednesday, they are sleeping with sisters and brothers. They speak in, light has no tolerance for darkness. If you want to retain light, you must not tolerate darkness around you. Because once darkness settles around you, it means there is no more light. It means there is no more light. I'll be telling us enemies of light subsequently because of time. does not allow darkness to pass to eyes around him. He pushes them. He selects. He selects what comes around him. That's why God is light. In him there is no darkness. So if you must see that power of light, then you must not tolerate darkness around you. You must not tolerate the status quo of darkness. Grew up from a poor family. Don't tolerate poverty. Things are difficult. Nobody has built a house around you. In your family, it's a sign of darkness. Don't tolerate it. Be brutal against every status quo of darkness. Number five, four. Light cannot be hidden. We are talking about the characteristics of light. He will not allow himself to be hidden. Light cannot be hidden. As long as it's on, it cannot be hidden. Black ombre tapala tupa ria tapala kia bala tukapia. 
Manda kupala anda kuka palate kapala la hambre anda kaka and speak to somebody here right now. Your brother has suffered and suffered and suffered, and he sees no way out. He has all what it takes, but is not making way. In the name of Jesus, I draw him out of that place. I push him to the front. Break the yoke of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Light cannot be hidden. Matthew 5, verse 14 to 15. Say, ye are the lights of the earth. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Say, neither do men hide light a candle and put it under a bushel. God can light you and somebody will hide you. It is impossible. As you hear the sound of my voice, anywhere they have placed you, place what belongs to you. And as it seems you are not coming out, by the entrance of the word I speak, you are lighted to show forth. Hear me? I carry a brutal grace. I carry a brutal as I speak it is happening. As I speak it is happening. So don't miss your home. Don't miss your home. Anywhere they have kept what belongs to you. Anywhere they have eaten what belongs to you. And any power that suppress anything that concerns you. As I speak, the entrance of his word giveth light. And he giveth understanding to his sin. From today, you are coming out. I say you are coming out. It has no tolerance for darkness and it cannot be hidden. We will stand up and we will pray concerning this four point I have prayed and we will continue. Number one, we are going to pray that by the mandate of his glory, every personality of us that are interwoven with our life or destiny, family or church, tonight, let them and their powers, their effects be neutralized. So you will say after me with all seriousness, Oh Lord, oh Lord. Lord. Listen, you will pray the prayer point for none less than two minutes. So be serious. Every trace of them, every trace, every trace, they will be broken, neutralized. Amen. You will say after me, Oh Lord, oh, oh Lord. Lord, by the mandate of the light, by, by the, the mandate, mandate of, of your glory, of, of your glory, glory. I, decree, I decree every force, every force, of personality of darkness, of personality interwoven with my life, interwoven with my, my life. destiny, my, my destiny, family, family, and your source, and your choice. The ICC worldwide, the worldwide. Tonight, tonight. tonight, let them, let them, their powers, their powers, and effects. Even be neutralized, be neutralized and scattered, and scattered. Now, in the name of Jesus.
Lord, you are anointed, but you are joined to an Lord, a person of darkness. You compromise with darkness, you become one body. Do you understand what I mean now? We are going to pray. Every relationship, every association, he said, What? No, you know that which is joined to an Lord is one body. For two CAT shall be one flesh. We are going to pray by the mandate of light. Every force or personality of darkness interwoven with my life, interwoven with my destiny, interwoven with my family, interwoven with this church. Father, Father, let your powers, your effect, be neutralized and be scattered. There are people that darkness have even laid seed into them. By the mandate of this light we talk about, let their powers, let their effect be neutralized. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. <laughs> better for you. Go and ask Sansi. He interwove with darkness. So the anointing was no longer the anointing could not protect him again because he made himself joined to an Lord. If you still don't understand why do you think made great men presidents of nature top ministers one small boy or one small girl they are addicted to them. They can't come out of it. Even they know if they realize it will sing them. They don't realize anything. Until when they catch them, say, hey, hey, I am sorry they apologize to the nation. But we are not aware that it was dangerous to them. They did it the first time, did it the second time, did it, and it became an addiction. Darkness in Tarovan. We're going to pray this second prayer point. My father, my father, my, my father, father, my father, father. Spray it with all your mind. My father, my father, my father, my father. Any weakness, any, any weakness, character, character, or addiction, or addiction in my life, in my life, where darkness, where darkness is passing through, is passing into through into my life, into my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, 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 by the 
them. Mandate of your life. Mandate, mandate, mandate of, of your life. life. Send me deliverance. Send me deliverance. Now. 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 By the mandate of God's light, I decree over your life and family. And over this commission, every force or personality of darkness interwoven with your life, with your destiny, with your family, and this commission, in the name of Jesus, we break their powers, we destroy their effects, and we scatter them to hell. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray over your life by the mandate of God's life. Any weakness, character or addiction, in the name of Jesus, where the enemy is passing through into your life, into your family, in the name of Jesus, Amen. by the mandate of his light, I decree oh, you Baba. are free from it. Amen. Amen. Sit down. Ayakapala namanama. Shatala bababa. Can I see continue? Number five. While you are sitting, you will pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord, any excuse of darkness. Any excuse of darkness. Any excuse. Any excuse. Any excuse. Any excuse. That darkness. That darkness is using. Is using to hide. To hide. And anger around my life. And anger around and my destiny. Life. And destiny. anger around my family. And anger around my family. And anger around this ministry. And anger around this ministry. TICC worldwide. TICC worldwide. Father, 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 by the mandate of your light, by the mandate we nullify and scatter them. Now, now. Help your mother and brother pray. In Jesus name. Amen. Why am I starting with this darkness issue? Because I want us to deal with wherever Satan is sitting. In Revelation chapter 2, verse 12, I think the 17. He said, The angel of the church in Pergamos, right? This thing said, He which had the sharp sword with two edged sword, who can do and undo is speaking. I know thy works, where thou dwellest, even where Satan sit, is. Thou ordest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days, wherein Antipas was my faithful Mattia, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. People were dying because Satan was staying there. Oppression was taking place because of Satan was sitting there. Destiny wasted because Satan was sitting there and God said he hold it against them. Are you seeing the scripture? I will deal with this on deal, deal on this on another day, but I'll just give you light. So, but I have a few things against thee, even though you have old fats your faith, but I have a few things against thee. Because that as there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. Who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication? So, as there also them that all the doctrine of Nicolaitans, which thing I ate, repent. So, God is saying, You have been faithful when it comes to Christian service. You have been faithful. 
Say, but I still have some things. I'm angry with you. Say, because you tolerate this Satan. So you make Satan to sit and be comfortable. Somebody lift up your right hand and say, my father, my father. My father, my Anywhere father. Anywhere darkness has been comfortable in my life. Anywhere darkness Release your fire. Release your fire. And I'll seize them now. And I'll seize them Open your mouth and pray that prayer. In the power of God, the power of God. In 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 Jesus' gracious name we pray. Amen. Number five. Characteristics of light. Light is weightless. Light has no weight. It is lamp that have weight. The, the covering on what they used to process is that carry weight. Light himself has no weight. The brightness here now, you can't wait. It could be intense. It is energy, light is energy, but it has no weight. What is the implication? Where light enters, Jesus said, take my yoke upon you. My yoke is easy. It is light. That's why he said, my peace I live with you. Not as the world give it. I give unto you. And when Buddha said, the peace of the Lord that passeth all understanding. When the word of God enters into a man, or when God enters, he brings lightness, peace. Have you received revelation once, sir? When you get revelation, how did you feel? Do you feel? Ah, there is excitement. Every time light enters a man, weight leaves the man. So let me join five and six together. Light has not weight. It is weightless. But six, light can eliminate any weight. It doesn't matter how heavy the thing is, light can carry it. You don't understand what I'm saying? What did you think move carried the airplane up? The, the plane you enter, it is the power of light. Do you understand that light is knowledge? Do you understand that light is illumination? We enter into all those places. I'm just dodging those places, but because of this point I bring, let me just let you know that. The plane is heavy. It can carry everything. But by the power of light, when it moves, gather momentum, it goes up. Do you understand that this world we hold, we are in now, is carried by light? He said he holds everything together by the word of his power. So if his word is light, that means it's his light that holds the world. All the universe you see, it is light. So light is weightless, number six, it can illuminate every, any weight. It can neutralize weight and bodies so it doesn't matter the problem you have take light just eat word just take word let light enter you I came to him disturbed scattered problematic my bodies were too much people rejected me people thought there is no hope no hope was no hope but when his light entered, the same person that they said, this one is too much, this is a liability, started being the one that carries the people. Light has no weight. It can remove. That problem you thought you have, drop it. When light enters, many of us are struggling because we have not received light. We thought it's our salary that will make us. It's because of the absence of light. We still depend on somebody to help us we, because of the absence of light. When light comes, you become light to be carried. It removes burdens. That's why a songwriter says, Burdens are lifted at Calvary. 
At Calvary, at Calvary, burdens are lifted at Calvary, where Jesus was crucified. Live it down, live it down. Take your problems to the Lord and leave it there. Because it's light. He will surely deliver you if you put your trust in Him. Take your problems to the Lord and leave it there. My body. the whole world upon his shoulder. I know my brother that he can carry you. If he carry the weight of the whole world upon his shoulder. I know, I know my sister that he can carry you. There is no man to do high yes, that God cannot leave thee. There is no mountain too great that he cannot move. There is no bond too heavy that he cannot leave. There is no problem too great that he cannot solve. No man to do I that God cannot find it. There is no problem too great that he cannot solve. My name, don't I know whether you might be watching us now? It's been my son for a long time. His father worked in an oil company, but he died premature. His senior brother was asked to replace the father, so I thought breakthrough had happened through the brother. After many years, I met him, that should be three years back. I discovered that the struggle is still continuing in this family. He has traveled out of Nigeria, struggle followed him there. Came back, struggle. Hardship. Friends that he connected, it, it became like a burden to friends he opened the door for. And I looked at him one day 
I just carry my phone. I think it's birthday. A few days to his birthday, we are at Iri. Carry my phone. And I prayed from my spirit. I prayed from my spirit. I, I'm still convinced that anybody I send that phone, that prayer to, breaks, breakthrough. Prayed for my spirit and I sent it to him. He received it. I was shot. A man called back. And in the meeting again, I called him out and I decree over his life. I said, doors open, struggle over. Some of you watched it. It was not up to six months. When I say six months, six months is even too far. God flip open his door that it looks like somebody that dreamt. As if he would pinch the person. People knew him two, three months before that time. When they tell them his new status, they will be thinking, is it blood money? Somebody hearing the sound of my voice, that you are watching all you are here right now. What God is about to do for you with this speed of light. Some people will begin to question you. How did it happen? How did it happen? I have seen it happen recently. Too much, too much. That I am so confident that God can take you to sleep and wake you up and put you, see yourself in the palace. I believe the story of Joseph more than anything now. I believe it before, but I believe it more than anything now. I've seen it not one, not two, not three. I just did a song with him now. The song will be heard next week, I believe. Jesus by my side, I go depose. Say, sir, I want you to do a song with me, please. Just let your voice be in it. Just open. Every people who forgot him started remembering him. It's not, it's not trekking again, no. The guy is driving, it's not, it's not moto. A born again Jeep. God, he said, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion around, we were like them that dream, dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter. Then said they among the Edom, the Lord had done great things for them. Therefore, Somebody, your story is going to be like that. As I'm talking right now, there is somebody hearing the sound of my voice before this year will be over. The turnings in your life, people will not understand it. You too will not understand it. Our God will turn you and turn you and settle you on top. As I'm speaking right now, this year, God will be handling a difficult document case. This year, this year, before this year, we run to an end. Before this year, we run a difficult, a very difficult di document, a very difficult do document case. Baba God, we set on you in the name of Jesus. It takes away weight. It takes away weight. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. Who being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the words of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of God let me rush can you join me pray this prayer say oh Lord you will rise up on your feet and pray this prayer. Oh Lord, oh Lord, by the mandate of your light, by the mandate of your light, that neutralize weight, that neutralize bodies and bodies. I ask, I ask, every weight, yes. every weight, and body, and body, body that is not mine, that, that is not hanging mine. over my life, hanging over in my the mighty life. name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be lifted, let it be and neutralized neutralize. from my life and destiny. Life and now, destiny. now, now. open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every weight. Jesus name. Amen. You will pray this, this 
this way again. Oh Lord, oh Lord, by the mandate of your light, by the mandate that of your light, that neutralizes weight, that neutralizes and bodies, and bodies. And bodies. I, ask, I ask, every load, every, every load, load. bodies, bodies, and problems, and problems, hanging over my life, hanging over my and life. destiny, and destiny, that I brought upon myself, that I brought upon myself, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let, Jesus. let them be lifted and neutralized from my life, and destiny, and now, now, open your mouth and begin to pray. Family members now. Oh Lord, oh Lord. By the mandate of your light, by, by the mandate of that your light, that neutralizes weight, that neutralizes weight and bodies. We ask, we, we ask, ask that every load, that every load, bodies and problems, bodies and problems, hanging over our life, hanging over our life, hanging over our family, hanging over our family. That, that, that is a result of op that. Hanging over our family, hanging over our family, as a result of openings, as a result of created, openings. created by our forefathers, by our forefathers, or any members of our family, or any members in the mighty name of Jesus, let them be broken, let them be lifted and neutralized, lifted and from our family, Stretch forth your hands. The point number seven is that nothing escapes its sight. Hebrews 12, 12, verse 13 says, For the word of God is quick and powerful. And sharper than every two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joint and marrow. 13 says, Neither is there any creatures that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. You will stretch forth your hands right now. As I pray for you, I decree that by the mandate of God's light we are speaking about that neutralizes weight and bodies, I decree every weight and body that is not yours, hanging over your life, hanging over your destiny, waiting for you in the future. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree them broken, lifted, and neutralized. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are saying it, amen, say it like a born again. Amen. I decree over your family, every weight, every body that come upon your family as a result of what forefathers has done, opening created by anybody in your family, that is affecting and influencing people negatively, I decree that door is closed. Amen. That weight is neutralized, broken, and the effect sent back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And lastly, I pray that every weight, negative weight, every weight, and every body, every present problem, that is hanging over your life and destiny as a result of what you have done. As 
as a result of what you have caused. By the grace of God, mercy, and the mandate of light that neutralizes every weight. As you hear this, let that body, that weight, be lifted. Amen. Let it be neutralized. Amen. Let mercy show forth on your behalf. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Celebrate the Lord in the house. Whew. It's 12 o'clock. Going to 12. And we have to hang here. What I wanted to speak on. Let me leave it for tomorrow. Light can only travel to, through vac vacuum. Leave that for tomorrow. It uses space. Once there's no vacuum, it can't shine. So if you are not open, it can't do anything. We we'll look at that tomorrow. That is the most powerful point that I wanted to stress on. Put your hands wherever you think is you're having challenge. If you're having challenge anywhere in your body, there's a challenge anywhere in your body. I speak the healing power of God over your life right now. Divine operation take place. By the mandate of this light I talked about, I release that light upon that spot. Every challenge in that place neutralized by the power of light in the name of Jesus I declare you healed I declare you delivered in the name of your every torment demonic oppression comes to an end by the speaking of my voice and the audacity of the Holy Ghost back in it that oppression comes to an end that delay comes to an end in the name of Jesus, celebrate the Lord in the house. Quickly, quickly, we are taking our offering quickly. Is that not what we're supposed to do? We're taking our offering quickly because we are about to cross 12 o'clock and I really want us to do this fast. Fast. Don't miss tomorrow. After everything, I will be, I want to be, I want to anoint you people all through these three days. All through the three days, I will be here to anoint you people. Lift up your offerings. Father, we thank you for the privilege of sowing this seed in your ass. We ask that you preach upon it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. You are worthy. Oh, yigi, yigi, Adonai. You are worthy. Jehovah, Holy Achaka. You are worthy. Oh, yiki, yiki, oh, yiki, yiki, I do not. You are worthy, you are worthy. Uh -huh. Jehovah, only I do not. Oh, you are worthy. Oh, yiki, yiki, you are worthy. You are worthy. Uh -huh. Jehovah, only I do not. Oh, yeah.
Jesus, get ready. We are into a season, a season for every member of this commission. What I'm doing is preparing you. Add this light with travel. Please be attentive while I'm talking to you because this is the official spiritual new year of TICC. We have entered a new year, even though the natural new year is still counting, but we have entered a new year. And God is giving us his agenda, his calendar, how he will move, where he will travel to. And he's traveling through light. He's traveling through light. So every word I am saying, don't take it for granted. That's why I'm not jumping. I'm taking my time so that you won't say I miss it. So that you won't say I miss it. Pay attention and don't miss any, any, any service this season. Don't miss any service. Hallelujah. 
Is there any other thing we have to? Tomorrow is the anniversary proper. Those of you who are at home, despite the, I heard that there is no, there was no bus yesterday. We are just crossed 12 o'clock, so no bus. And yet this class still come to service. Put your hands together for the Lord. That means something is happening. Something is happening. There is a revival going on. As we enter this new year, just enter with that fire. And, and some of you are still at home. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Papa. They are celebrating our new year. Don't stay at home tomorrow. And on Sunday, of course, don't miss it. It's one service. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord shine his face upon you. May he be gracious unto you. In the name of Jesus. You will see this same anniversary, this same convention next year. Amen. 2023 convention, you will see it. Amen. You will be alive to see it. Amen. If God has relocated you, you will be watching it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are sent us to live. Amen. You are sent us to succeed. Amen. You are sent us to shine. Amen. You are lighted to happen. Amen. And no devil or Jupiter can stop you. What they say can't happen shall be happening any hour and any hourly for you. This is in, in the name of Jesus. Go in this light. God bless you. Shalom.